So the idea of the helmet, if you think about how the brain uh, might move inside the cerebral spinal fluid that sits within inside the, the cranial cavity, uh, the analogy that I like to use is if you and I were sitting here having an egg toss and the egg yolk represents the brain, the egg white represents the cerebral spinal fluid that surrounds the brain, and the egg shell represents the skull or the cranial cavity. And if we had this egg toss, every time that it leaves my hand and, and moves through the air to you, it accelerates as it leaves my hand, and as you catch it, it decelerates. And that egg yolk is rebounding off the undersurface of the egg shell, much like the brain rebounds off the undersurface of the cranial cavity. So that movement's going to take place whether or not we put bubble wrap around that eggshell or we put a helmet on the, on the head. Now, that helmet might prevent the skull from fracturing and the bubble wrap, as we increased our distance during our egg toss, might prevent the eggshell from cracking. But it's really not able to prevent that movement or manage that energy inside the cranial cavity. So that's really the problem.